So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Detroit Become Human or as I also like to call this game Detroit Become Human, yeah boy 10 out of 10 smash the like button Guys, before we hop into this episode, E3 has been absolutely insane Like, are you guys watching this too? The Microsoft conference was insane and then Sony followed up and we gotta to react to another trailer right this moment Just a quick thing as well, I'm getting really into Detroit right now and I think some of you guys are too I'm gonna shoot real high with this one If this episode hits 15,000 likes, I'll be back tomorrow for another episode of Detroit because I want to see what goes on after, man. Resident Evil 2 got announced again. It's got like a release date and stuff like that. I gotta see the trailer, okay? And you guys seem to really enjoy the Dying Light one, so I thought, why not do it at the start of this video, you know? This is not how I imagined guys. my first day. You don't know how long I've been waiting for this. I... Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about, man. We're back in Raccoon City. This... Wait, was that... That was straight gameplay right there. Hold up a sec. This is insane. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah! So many good games, dude. Okay. Okay. So, police station's apparently the safe haven, right? not right. Oh, yeah. You don't say. Nothing's ever right in Raccoon City. If that's gameplay, I am literally about to turn myself Stay okay? back, sir. I got this. Uh oh. You ain't got nothing, my friend. Wow, what the? Straight up, dude, this game looks crazy. That hurts. This is gonna be incredible. Oh, oh here? man! Jesus. <laughs> I'm so hyped. Leon looks so cool, man. Back in the day. Like, we got Dying Light 2 coming. The zombies in this game, though, they look terrifying. Whoa. I'm giving you an order, rookie. This is you incredible, save yourself dude. first. Guys, this looks insane. What in God's name? I cannot wait. Resident Evil 2, the remake that everyone wanted, and it looks better than what I think anyone imagined. January 25th, 2019 for the release date. You already know we're doing a full playthrough on the channel. Resident Evil 2 was a childhood game I never completed but owned for the longest time. I would basically play up to the point where you first enter the police station and turn the console off. I'm not even kidding. This game looks like more of a remaster. It looks like a brand new game and I'm like shook how good this thing looks, you know. 2019 is about to be insane for games. But anyway, let's get back into Detroit before I get like kind of tangent for another hour, you know? Back with Connor. So this is just after we had the encounter with Luther. Back in the garden, though the weather's changed just a bit. We've got an umbrella, but we're not gonna use it. What the? All we've got to simply do for this first mission is go ahead and find ourselves Amanda. She seemed a little bit agitated with the way we spoke about Hank in the last episode. I am interested to see what our response is gonna be towards Connor now. In between, we actually let the android escape. I wonder if she'll wanna talk to us more about that mission and why we failed, you know, what happened? Let's go ahead and Hello, find Amanda. out. Connor, I've been expecting you. Trust it, okay. Would you mind a little walk? That's why we got the umbrella. Aha. Uh -huh. So what's good, Amanda? Huh? Or rather, what's bad? I'm about to find out the latter, that you know. Deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. Mm-hmm. Pity you didn't manage to capture it. I knew she'd pick up on that. There you go. Pragmatic explain no excuse. Uh, I'm gonna explain to you. Deviants are completely irrational, mm -hmm. which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. I wouldn't say so. You were good. Did you manage to learn anything? Hmm. Maybe we did. Diary, signs on the walls, or the birds. What about the diary? That would be interesting to talk about, right? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. Even for an android, you know. What else? We can talk about the signs on the walls. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. So don't know we why. Came you know? Very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? I would say good, you know? Saving Hank, negative, ambiguous, positive. I would say, you know what, let's go for saving Hank. He first, seemed but grateful I would that say I positive. saved his life on the roof. For sure. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. I was proud that I saved him right there, dude. I like Hank. Uh, you're getting a bit soggy you there, don't Amanda. Have much time. Kinda don't care. <laughs> Deviancy right. continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. Okay. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. Sure. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. 
How do you know that? Find Anderson and investigate it. She's not an android too, is she? She does not seem too happy with it, so you know. This makes you question what she really wants us to do. When we said we wanted to start with Hank a little, she didn't seem interested, I suppose, with that decision. Either way, though, I suppose we're now going to greet Hank. Thank you for traveling with Detroit, Texas. We look forward to seeing you again soon. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Robot. Now on your way, okay? So, we're friends with Hank, thank goodness for that. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. I mean, nice little residence, you know? Not Let's go ahead and knock on the door. I don't want to look through Anderson. no windows. We can ring the doorbell. All right. Anybody home? Interesting. Find a way inside. So we got to go through this thing. Let me ring one more time. Just to be safe. Uh, you can take your finger off now, Connor. <laughs> there you go. Still no answer. Hank must be home, though, you know? Now, I guess we got to take a peek through these windows. I mean, Hank, look, we got no choice. There's a dog. There's a dog right there. Oh, man. That's going to be pretty interesting to, uh, I guess, greet the little guy. Or big guy, rather. You see the sides of that thing? I'm going to back when... Uh-oh. Hank is unconscious. Um, Lieutenant yeah. Anderson. We got to get in right now. We have to. We could break that. I guess we got no choice. Is he good? Here we go. Straight in. Good stuff, Connor. Nice Easy. One. Oh, he's a big softy. I'm your friend. Uh -oh. Is he? <laughs> See? <laughs> this is... <laughs> I know your name. Why do I like this moment? Your owner. Oh, he's a good boy. He don't care about Connor or oh, Hank even. He just wants the food. Check on Hank. There's a lot of alcohol right there. Hank, you, uh, you all right, my dude? Go ahead and check. Is he vomited on himself too? Maybe. Why is there a gun right next to him? What? There's a bullet rem... Why is there a bullet inside the revolver, dude? Uh, we're gonna check on the alcohol. And, okay, 40%, so that's some very, very strong whiskey. Slight arrhythmia, no signs of trauma, okay? Last one there, let's check on, I guess, his breathing. Traces of alcohol, I guess we kind of determined that already. And wake him up, there you go. Wake up, Lieutenant. You okay? Wow! It's me, Connor. Goodness! If that's I'm your wake up call, man. Hey! Have to warn you. Leave me alone, me fucking android. All right. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. He's just drunk, guys, but come I on. Need you. Thank Give you in advance nice for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Connor, come on right now. <laughs> okay, let's lift this guy up. Come on, Hank. By the way, guys, that's Shoot the same up. voice actor Attack. as Mr. Crap. Uh, Good wait, job. what? <laughs> Hank, he's doing nothing. <laughs> All right. Wow. I think I'm going to be sick. Yeah, we're right next to the bathroom, I hope. we would open the door. All right, Hank. Let's get you in there before it's too late. Oh, leave me alone, you asshole. All right. I'm not going anywhere. Take it easy, my dude. Come on. Gotta get you to the toilet or something. You know, before it's too late. I'm not grumpy. I just doing? don't like you. <coughs> Notes right there. Uh, okay. Take it chill. I don't want a bath. Thank you. I think it's the Sorry, bath we're interested in. Or is it? So we're gonna have to, uh, I guess, put it down. Oh, dang. Caring for him like a baby, dude. Clothed and all. Okay, I mean, I'd rather this definitely for set. Too hot, too hot. Too hot. Okay, turn it off. Let's go. Was it cold? Cold shower. What the f*** are you doing here? <laughs> Homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. All right. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. And he was. Sprawled out on the floor. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world. It gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Oh, we care about you, man. Come on. Can't you just leave me alone? Rational, aggressive, solution, pragmatic. Uh, let's be rational with the Unfortunately, guy, Unfortunately, you know? I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Kind of see this Lieutenant, attitude coming. It's going to be hard you're not for not yourself. One. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. Okay. Oh, take it easy. All right. There you go. Tease or leave. I say we leave. I what understand. Do you want to... I sincerely hope you come to terms with your personal situation. Is that leaving the residence? Because I can't really see the door. What do we know about it? A man was found dead in a sex club downtown. The report says that an android may be involved. Probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. Oh, sure. Yeah. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. Bring Hank clean clothes. I'll go get them. Will indeed. So I guess this gives us a chance as well to explore Hank's house to an extent. I mean, I don't want to kind of, you know, do it against his will, but I'm, I'm kind of curious. Like, hey, Sumo. How's it going, buddy? Can we fuss you? Oh, we can't stroke him or nothing. Ah, oh, he's a big boy, though. Look at him. Let's go and get Hank his clothes anyway. Uh, let me just check around here beforehand. I don't want to miss nothing. Looks like it literally is a case of just uh, getting Hank the clothes and going from there. We're going to open this stuff up. What do you up. want to wear? 
Whatever. Let's give him some snazzy stuff. Hippie, strippy, or streaky. Let's go hippie for this one, man. Why not? I feel like he'd want to wear that sort of stuff, but uh oh. Okay, Hank's got his head in the toilet, thankfully. So less of a mess to clean up, but uh, let's go and greet the guy. Let's go. <coughs> mm. I was gonna say, how's it going? But clearly not too good, right? Mm -hmm. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, gotta get it out. Give me five huh? minutes, okay? Okay. Sure. <laughs> that sounds like it's gonna need about. Ta oh! I need to distract myself, guys. You know. Speech to Congress today. Okay. That we going to like withdraw the... from the Arctic region. Immediately. That's interesting. Uh, let's take a look the over Kremlin here. Has yet what, the dog? To but this is oh, we can pet the dog. Hey, boy. How's it going? Many experts are suggesting. Listening in the background too. The specter of a third world war okay. draws closer every day. Aww. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he's a big softy. I love dogs. They're so awesome. Hold up, there's a uh, picture turned over here. Let's take a look at this. Looks like a child. A young boy. Uh, let's go ahead and analyze this one. Deceased? So he was only six. Oh my gosh, Hank lost his son. Oh, and he was at the table with the alcohol and the gun. He's still struggling quite clearly then with the, uh, I guess, the situation with his child, which is a shame. Uh, let's take a look at this music set over here. I knew Hank was just like a troubled guy, you know? Autumn Blues, Michigan Brothers, Detroit Soul Records. So we know what he now listens to as well. Now, what about the gun and stuff, you know? This was interesting why there'd be just one bullet in there, you know? I know what everyone's thinking, question... <sighs> it's probably not wise to say anything about that. Now, I think we can figure out what was going on right there. Does he have suicidal tendencies or not? I don't know, you know? All good, my friend. Oh, be a good dog, Sumo. Big old boy. Long. Seems to have sobered up pretty quickly. All right, let's get this investigation, I suppose, underway. You know, gonna settle down next to the TV. And here we go, Russian roulette. So quite a lot of stuff here. We found some stuff. We actually unlocked about the uh, picture of Hank. That was interesting. There was some uh, other stuff, I guess, we could find. I feel like that one had enough information though for us. We uh, learned quite a bit about Hank. Oh, we're back in Jericho. 8 p.m. This is the docks. This is the mission, all right? We need those parts. Those bio components, whatever they are, we need them. They're autonomous, so not man. Here we go. That's uh, north, right? That's everyone else. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Those pigeons in the back again? If they catch us, we're dead. They ain't going to catch us. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Mm -hmm. Follow me. So. Okay, North seems to know exactly where we're going. This is gonna be real cool. I love missions where it's like dark and it's raining too. These are the ones where I just, I get so into the moment, man. Let's get this. So it looks like North may know the layout of this place, which is interesting, you know? Look at this stuff. All right, let me do a quick scan. We're gonna wait a second. Don't let them see us. Hold up, let me just scan one second. I wanna check around the place. So follow North. That's simply our mission, All right? Watch out. What is it? Ooh. Let's see. Now do do? Dang, those pigeons got like I'll lights on. Alright, got it. That's them thinking I'm gonna assume. I'm just gonna climb over there. This music though! Like, please don't tell me this is gonna go bad. I'd rather not. Let's get it. Alright, we can follow north. Let's keep going. That's what she said. I think everyone's following just uh, different paths to an extent. Let's go. Ah! Well, dang, that freaking jump! Okay, it's just like a small one. <laughs> Alright, that's a bit better. Here we go. Uh oh. I thought that thing was about to move right there. So much movement in this place. It's like everything is so alive, but not. Just all autonomous. Cyber life is straight ahead. There's the warehouse. Gotta keep up with these guys, you know? Oh, dang, then I have to cushion the blow too of a good jump. Big gap. Good jump. All right, climb up here. Oh, did I follow Simon or North? I was gonna follow North. So let's find out. Okay, we're following North. Good stuff. I was hoping for. Okay, we're hopping down. Alright. Let's get this going. So I think one of us has gone the other way. Uh, maybe I should slow down just in case those decisions prop up again. I don't want to accidentally press like the X button too quick. Let's go ahead and find out. The warehouse is up ahead. Oh, that's an android. I thought that was a dude right there. Getting a bit skeptical. We're good. Alright. Let's go, man. It's gonna go smoothly. Absolutely no intentions for this to go wrong. Uh-oh, pigeon right ahead! 
Take it chill. Do those things have like sensors or cyber life warehouses? Strictly like a life source. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Yep. It does have some kind of Leave vision then? Our job. All right. How are we gonna do this? We're we gonna like run it out or something? Oh, Marcus, so we can pre-construct. Yes, so we can see what's gonna happen based on the events. Like Sherlock Holmes style. Check out this middle way here. So we run along. Jump into this is going up would be too high by that point. Got it. Now this one on the left hand side is not moving. And we could probably climb up on top just in time. So let me see. We should be able to just too high still. Now, this one doesn't move. Oh, okay. So then from this point on. Oh, so we could climb from underneath. Oh, wait just a second. Okay, then we take the thing out. This seems like a pretty good route, you see? And I guess it will glide us down to semi-safety? Like, Marcus, you're gonna be good? Let's try this. I suppose quick time with this one. Let's go. Nice. And up we go. Woo! All right, let's not mess this up. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's kind of alerted. Oh, we just mantle it as we go. Nice. You okay? Good yeah. job. Yeah, I'm fine. That's how we get it done. It's good. Got some respect from North, I'm Wait, liking that. And Jericho, as a whole. As Let's check in this one here. Up we go. There you go. What components do we got? Ooh, a lot of blue blood by the looks of things. Good stuff. I have to take all that. Keep it going, my friend. Uh-oh. What are they looking at? That's an android, surely? You were trespassing on private property. Uh-oh. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. Sure, sure, sure. I will notify security. Wait. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? Uh, let me just check around. So we've got 25 seconds so we could grab and hide? No, we're not gonna kill the guard. We could hide? We're gonna take it for face value right here. We're gonna have to take him and hide. John! I need your help. Of course! John! Genius. Oh crap, we can release, we can hold, or we can attack. I'm gonna release him! We know what we did. I feel like this is good. There you are! What the hell are you doing? I was inspecting the platform. Everything legend. is in order. You are, you legend. Good. Then I'm going back to the control station. I'm soaked. Take the drone to maintenance and make a report. Got it. Understood. Yes! Ah! Love it when a plan comes together, you know? Logical thinking. You know, that's all we need. Let's Who's finish nothing? up and get out of here. I kind of want to talk to this guy. Can we talk to him? Find some blue blood. He's gonna let us. Still have enough. Look at that, you legend. The androids get it. You know, they all get it. Go ahead and take the rest of this. Yep. That goes in there. All right. Take what we need and some more. No, no point in skimping out right there. So search the crates. Check the bigger crate. Is that a crate right there? That huge thing? It looks fairly gargantuan. So I mean. Just straight up unlock it. And down we go. Just opening the hatch is nice. More. It's gonna have that good stuff, man. With that android on our side and the humans not knowing as well, this is a uh, next to perfect scenario. That means good, you know? Right now. Androids. More of them. Whoa. Why aren't you like us? Huh. Don't you want to be free? Free them or close again. It's just like you know what Marcus wants now. You get it. Alright? Of course there will be free. That's like a very important thing we gotta remember for their communication. Wonderful moment. Head fuzzes all around. Wow. They all know. I just don't belong here. Oh. Look at them. They're all like looking at us. That's how you get it done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your recruits all around. Let's go. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Got it. Drop down. So what about the guard? We haven't Take even spoken with you. Ah. He's on their side. We can't trust him. I would not say so. For us. We can't just leave him here. Because that's not fair on him. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. How? I feel like, you know, I'm going to accept. They come with us. They do. Straight up. North didn't like that one. I know where you can find more spare parts. That's why. What do you mean? 
the trucks. Simon didn't like that one. It's hard to please everyone. They're full of bio components. Oh yeah. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? And then the man. Come on, my guy. Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before Think they catch Think about everything else we can get. spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. Yeah. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. But there's people back at camp who are in, like, dire situations. I'm getting the key. Do Wait this. here. If I'm Let's not go. back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. I love Marcus. No, going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to what risk a great character. This is where you really build with the characters, you know? This is so fascinating. Steal an electric key, find the key. So we got dogs around here. Let's take a scan. We don't want to go in like running, I guess. All right, we're looking here. We got some dogs. Okay, that could be problem number one. Now, hold up. Do I want to go straight through there? I don't know. I feel like I want to check around just a bit. So I'll to look. We can see those guys. Oh man, they're right there. Just take a look. Okay, they're kind of relaxing, but also doing their job. That's the key we need, is it? Oh, this could be difficult. So we found the key. There's something else, though, you know? Many ways we can enter. Let's go in the furthest back room. All right. Nice and slowly. Leaving those things unlocked. Their choice. Not mine. I mean, easy entry. I ain't complaining. So we're in the bathroom area. How are we going to do this? Okay, they're kind of kicking it back. Dogs. Do they hear the dogs? Uh, what the nice are they barking at? Good point. You know what, folks, on that? There's a gun. Threaten the guards. That's I'm one potential option we could take that. Hey, what's this here? Cause a black. Like it. That feels like it could and be it good. Be Cause then they'll already. have to deal with that. Okay, how do we how do we cause that blackout? Hey, lure the guards outside though. I feel like blackout might be the best option. How do we do that? What is that? We can take a tool. This could cause the blackout. Mhm. Mm so we could short circuit or put back. I think we're gonna short circuit this. This is what I want to try. Gotta be ready for the QTE straight after, dude. Here we go. Let's go. Nice and easy. We're gonna open this. Gotta get this done. And we're back! Move, move, move. Yeah, we gotta move. Okay, don't What's be seen. On? So they're gonna obviously go there. And this way here. Yeah, I can't really see much around my area, guys. They're limiting with my camera. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, here we go. No, no, no. We gotta wait for them to move, okay? I'm really self conscious right now, guys. I don't wanna mess up. Okay, they're both moving. Who's the first one? They're both there. Okay, now is our chance. So we get the key. It's right here. So they're gonna know it's right now that the fuse has been blown. Right. There must be someone in. So they know. Okay, guys, we gotta go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Ooh, let's go ahead and escape nice and quick. Return to the group. Right. On the low, though. We gotta move. Here we go. Okay, the dogs are barking. If we're nice and quick, they're gonna see nothing. Everyone's waiting. Did you get it? Yep. That was tense. Nice. That was real tense. If it's just in the group. So get inside the truck. Let's go, guys. It's time to go. So glad that mission paid off, dude. Hurry, we got so much of the bio components. We got everything and more that we needed. Now it's just getting out. So let's be careful. Hopefully they can't see through the window. So drive out of the dots. Here we go. Nice and easy desk. I'd still, I think, investigating by the looks of things. Yep. We're making a nice trail straight out of this. Ooh, are we going right past them? Uh oh. I mean, we are, but they just drop. It's all autonomous. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Don't lose faith. Come on. There you go. Ooh. I thought they were gonna like search the van or something. No one knows. And off that thing goes. Yeah. Look at that. Five new people, I think. There may have been four. A truckload. We stole a whole truckload. We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Wow, that was good. Sometimes, like, not I, didn't agree. I appreciate the uh, opinion of initially, but Your you got it. androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not going to beg for the right to smile. 
or love or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. Preach it. I am alive. And they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. We have a leader right now. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Yeah! Let's do this. Wow. This is exciting right now. Jericho is coming into fruition. Everyone knows it. We've only just got here. Already our morals are being appreciated by everyone. And I've got a feeling that Marcus is going to take a massive lead. That was a big mission. Dang. Look at this, still going. I feel like that was probably the best one out of all of them. I mean, I guess one of the other options could have been like to take the parts that we already had or just like get caught and leave or something. Look at our freaking truckload of parts though. Like what is that gonna do for Jericho? If we find newcomers along the way, they're gonna be okay. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> back to the game now, right? I, I feel like this mission is gonna be really important. Hang drove? Oh, oh, we drove. Good stuff. Looks like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Oh, that was like me yesterday, then. You sure this is the place? Oh, it's yeah. the address in the report. Right. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. Let's get going. Let's do this. You bump it. Now that's two drills in your head, alright? Hank, friend. Good. Software oh. instability. Okay. So follow Hank. Eden Club. Uh, I guess that may be the uh, victim over there, but no need to examine it. If he's in a body bag, then I guess that's all we need to see. Though the crime scene Sergius may not have been touched. Androids shit. in town. That kind of be the judge of that. I know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> <laughs> Androids got that conscience too, you know. Oh baby. Okay, I'm respecting this. Hold up a sec. We got and wait. That looks like North. Hold up. It is same model. Connor. What are you doing? <laughs> Come in, Lieutenant. <laughs> no, sorry, Lieutenant. Hey, now I know why you wanted me to hurry up. Okay, Hank. So we've got this one dancing here. Uh, we've, we've got th this one. Uh, no. Hank, what was the mission again? That room there. Oh, uh, by the way. Occupied. Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Okay. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. Dang. All right. Let's get this done, shall we? Yikes. Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. Great. It's gonna be fun, clearly. You've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh yeah? Like wasting time. Okay. This pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll what have a look do? anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yeah, back out of here. I don't it's, like uh, this guy. I'm starting to stink of booze in here. Yeah. What the heck? Good night, Lieutenant. What is wrong with people like that, you know? Uh, why us? What did we do? Oh wait, it's because we're an android and we don't feel, apparently. Examine the victim. Uh, let's check out this android here. Quite far away from the victim. You know, so we can, uh, I guess, diagnose. Let's try and analyze first. Let's see what we can see. Blue blood. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. It's, uh, part of our thing. Again. Oh, gosh. Blue blood, so it definitely came from the android, obviously. We know that one. We could diagnose. You know? Of course, we can read straight from that thing. Critically damaged, so it was attacked. That was worth knowing. So let's go ahead and just check around one more time. Hold up. What the freak is this toilet? Like, how can you even take a crap in comfort? But anyway, let's go and examine this body, you know? Don't whip the sheets off, Connor, alright? Cardiac arrest, no sign of cardiac event, heart attack, not the cause of death. Okay. Uh, there's some kind of blow to the neck. That's physical damage. Severe bruising. Strangulation. There's a hand over that. Uh, bloodshot eyes, I guess, so the strangulation may have been the uh, cause of death. Perhaps let's go ahead and reconstruct this. Because this is interesting, right? Because why would the android strangle him? Like, here we go. This is where there's clearly someone else. Maybe been the android? We keep going. So it killed him. But what happened after? You know? So it came upon him. All right, take a nice seat there. And it did the deed, basically. And that's all we need to see about that. Says... He didn't die of a heart attack. Mm -hmm. He was strangled. Can you examine again? Yeah. I saw the bruising on the neck. Uh-huh. Didn't uh, prove anything, next. though. Okay. Could have been a rough play. Let's go ahead and do this. Reactivation required. So we have to actually turn the thing on? The, the only android. way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Okay. Think you can do it? 
Maybe. It's badly damaged. If Why? I can, yeah. it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Oh, I see. I just so hope it's long enough to learn do something. That. Maybe. Maybe this is all we need to see. And there you go. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Look how distorted she is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Okay, explain direct soothe. We're gonna soothe. She's clearly in a lot of distress. It will not help us get the, the right story, you know? Right. All we want is to know what happened. Go. Is he... He's gone. Don't is worry. Is he dead? Yep. Uh, murderer facts. Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me. Okay. Again. And again. So he was abusive. Uh, we got no choice. We have to. Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't uh, me. Russia alone. Were you alone in the room? Was huh? there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. Whoa, why is that going? That's what he said. There was two of us. Uh, killer, what model? Uh, uh what model? What Let's model go. was the other android? Did it look like you? Come on. She's gonna shut down. That was hard. So there was another android. Mm hmm. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It's based of a backstory. You can go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Interesting. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, sh it's got to be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, Ow. somebody who saw it leaving the room. Maybe if it was an hour ago. I'm go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Search for Android Eyewitness. I mean, that one, sure. We can physically connect to this one. Come in. Go on their way. Need human fingerprints. So we gotta talk over there. Hold up a second. Excuse Let's me, talk. Lieutenant. Yeah. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. This could be good. I love how that Android in the back is still dancing right there. Like, has the murderer left with like bloodstained hands still dancing? Yeah, maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? Say, Connor, we got better things. Come to on, do. hang. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. Uh. I love how she's looking at him like that. A thirty-minute session costs twenty-nine ninety-nine. Please confirm your purchase. Come on, Hank. Thank you. I think it's he's not going to look good on my expense account. Oh, sure. Get sent to a crime scene? Come out with the, one of these? <laughs> okay. Alright, we know what we need to do. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Right, how it's going to go. Okay, now what? We need to connect with this one. That's how we do it. Okay, let's go ahead and probe. Here we go. This could be very important. Oh, sh**. What the hell are you doing? Now he sees. So we can see. So locate the suspect. There's a few people around here. The occupied room is right there. So... Wait. Someone left the room. A blue haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. Okay. And then this guy rented the model. I think we don't need to see much more though. Okay. I think that's all we need to see as well. You know? It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. It's been an hour. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another Six witness. Six minutes. Okay. Well, this dude would have seen something, so we can scan. Hold up. I mean, that one may have seen something. I mean, we can see the last position. This model's already let's out. Let's try this one. Okay, let's go. <laughs> she has no idea, but we do. Okay. Amongst the motion blur, let's see. Where did she go? There she is, again. So she walked in like a uh, kind of semi-circle. It turned back into the club. So the android then on the other side of the pole is going to be our next target, okay? The one just over in that corner. I saw the blue-haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Went this way here. They go for it. So I think we need maybe some more info before. There are androids everywhere. How are you going to tell which one saw the Tracy? We're going to connect to this one. I know okay. So this one I think must be crucial. This is, I think, in the time where we see the uh, Tracy model go somewhere. There she goes. So she goes straight into the back area there. It turned into the red room. Freaking hell, man. Welcome to the game. We know exactly where it went. We're getting closer and closer. And I th it's pretty safe to assume then that this guy's got to have seen something too. Suspect out of sight. Check another Android. Okay. How do I connect with this guy here? I feel like he's going to know. But it won't allow me to actually connect with him. In that case, let's try the guy next to him perhaps. Found her again. There you go. So it hid in a room. 
Okay, that's exactly where we gotta go then. So from her perspective, it's this one here which is available. So we're gonna check in this one. Here we go. This could be it. It says it's available, but is it truly? Uh oh. So it left the room again, so it went in, came back out. Now, maybe we can check the janitor now. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Now I can connect with the janitor. Here we go. It's exactly what I wanted to do. I think he's definitely seen something. Yep, that's definitely her. There you go. So where's she headed? She went into the back area. Okay, I guess that's kind of predictable. It fled through the staff door. Okay, so we knew the place. I know where it went. Follow me. Straight through this area here. Uh, a. This I'm is crazy. To... <laughs> but it's working, all right? Let's get to the bottom of this. Wait. Okay. I'll take it from here. Got it. Get behind him. This is going to be intense. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, man. It's like a warehouse for androids. Crap. We're gonna be very, very careful here. Any one of these could just jump out at any moment in time. Be ready. Search the warehouse. Yikes, it's gonna be difficult. Shit. We're too late. Don't say that. Maybe all right. Hold up a sec. I can scan around, find the blue head deviant, just search the warehouse. Uh, I can look at these. That may be her in the back. No, no, no. I got a suspicion this android is playing doll right now, you know? I'm gonna search these guys over here. Okay. Maybe in the back? I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Again. Christ, look at him. All right, nice. Used till they break and then they get tossed out. Pretty harsh, isn't it, Hank? Yeah, I'm thinking a similar thing. So even though these dudes are like back here, Iron Nine is still very prevalent. Oh, we got, we got. Uh oh, Woo! let's go. And I knew this was gonna happen. Gotta be on the ball right now. Uh oh. Okay, I don't think we can control Hank. So it's just us right here. Okay, there you go. Get the freak off me. What will you get? Ooh, these guys are gonna be relentless as well. You know that? I think they're all gonna be working somewhat together. Blocking all those punches. No, you don't. She got a freaking knife! It's just oh my god, Mash! Woo! No way! Uh-oh. And again. Nice! She's gonna get away though. So more of them are working together by the looks of things. She dropped it. So she's not so much of a danger. Maybe we Should we help Hank or not? Uh, we can knock over or pull. Let's go ahead and knock over. That should slow it down somewhat. Okay, she jumped straight over that. Nope. Ah, oh, man. And it can tip. Whoa. Okay, we can throw or kick. Let's throw, maybe. There you go. Okay, that's gonna somewhat slow it down, I suppose. Kind of, barely. Uh oh, outside? Ooh, man. Okay, be ready. Be ready. This could go real bad. I'm gonna hope it goes the best it can. There's the main suspect right there. She knows she's caught. Uh oh. Are we about to get double teamed right now? by two sex androids? <laughs> I mean, look, I didn't make them. This is the world we live in right now, okay? In Detroit. Hanks out. Quick, they're Hold getting away! Here we go. So, that's what they say. Stop them? Okay. You can be stopped right now. Oh, man, we just triggered something. <laughs> They're using all kinds of weapons on us. Uh-oh. Come on, be ready. They tried it, but they failed. Come on. Restrain, restrain, restrain. Nope. I ain't taking no head slams. Easy with the foot, you don't want to damage him too. All right. Ooh, we want to dodge that though. Trash can, take the gun. Hey, we can shoot. Oh man. They're gonna take no. Come on. Instantly take a no. You see that? I knew. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive, get back to the one I love. Oh. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Dang, so what, they smell all the turds and stuff? Come on. Wow. Let's I don't go. know why that one fact just amazed me. Just the, that singular fact alone I had to pick up on. Can't I let them go? Good luck, guys. It's probably it's better this way. Interesting.
That's a change of heart right there if ever I've seen one. These episodes are only going to get more and more intense as time goes on, but that was awesome. I love that one so far. And I ain't done here, guys. I ain't saying that because I'm done. Wow. So the deviants escaped. We could have shot the deviants, but think about the trauma to the other one. If you shoot the one that the other one loved, because we know they have human emotions, that would have been absolutely traumatic. November the 7th. Okay. Could this be Kara and Alice, maybe? I'm not sure if they had a right. A slacko. Yes, here we go. This is that good storyline. He's driving us. Neutral currently with Luther. We don't really know the guy. Trusted with Alice. Awesome. Okay. We can look out as we're driving. 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't even know how cold that is, you know. So, uh, destination distance weather. And I mean that, guys, because we over here in the UK use Celsius. We're going to start by talking weather. Because I don't want to just be like, where are we? When are we getting there? You know? I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. Okay. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. Very true. I hope. Okay. You see, I don't want to be too direct with Luther. I feel like he's a good character. And I feel like I want to get to know this guy because he could become like a big help in the future. And I want to try and keep him alive, especially. Let's talk about the car. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. Fortunately, the engine then didn't seize up, you know? Fully gassed, I assume, as well. So, well, let's talk about the destination. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. And that's Until enough to killed them. Sucks, dude. He's basically like when you think about it, a mass murderer. Uh oh. Okay, what seems to be the problem, huh? We're about to find out. Dang, this sound design is gorgeous. This doesn't look good. It does not, does it? Uh oh. We had now this place. I guess so. She's not stay sleeping. Inside, oh, she's gonna stay here. Okay. Inspect the car engine. Let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully it is repairable, but dang, that smoke says nah, steaming. Let's take a look at this puppy then. We fix it up. What are we going to do? Good question. I don't know. See something in the back right there? Continue on foot, I guess. You think? It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. Nice. We need to find somewhere to spend the night. So we've got to improvise. I don't know where we can stay around here. How are we gonna do? Okay, Google. How cold is 30 degrees Fahrenheit? Minus one. Yeah, that's pretty cold. Minus one. I guess I'm gonna leave Alice for the meantime. But I can see a huge arrow right there. So if we investigate this at least, then we'll know we can come back for Alice if it's too cold. Wow. It's crazy. What is that? An abandoned amusement park? Uh-oh. That ain't good. Pirate's Cove amusement park. Welcome. Nice. Over there. That's our solution. Wow. We don't go oh, we went back and got Alice. Good stuff. This might be your first time seeing one of these, Alice. You know? If they're shutting down, that makes you wonder why. And that skeleton better not be real. <laughs> Pirates Cove Amusement Park. Looking like something kind of Silent Hill, you know? We need to find shelter. We have to get there. out of the cold. Yes. Hey. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Sure. Check around this place. See if there's any markings on the walls, you know? Let's go ahead and check this. No good Find for shelter. Anything? Yeah. No. No place we could spend the night. Not there. No way. Check in here as well. I don't want to miss nothing, you know? Looks like snow is getting all the way in there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be blowing the snow straight in there, so that is no good. This place is falling apart. Oh, yeah. This is not going to last much longer. I'll agree right there, Luther. How about this place? Uh, what the freak is that sound? Looks safe inside. Uh, yeah, that sound effect though from the outside is very unconvincing. Is someone else here? Oh gosh. I surely hope not. We're gonna uh, check around so we can enter there. How about in this direction? Is there anything more? It's looking like this is it. I'm just gonna get those boards off. Come on. You got this. Maybe Luther does. Yeah, he's a big guy. 
we go. This is where we're staying for the night, though, for sure. He's a very handy character to have with us, clearly. I feel like I can trust him, too. We're good. And inside we go. And boom! Nice! That's one way to make an entry, you know? If someone's home, they know they got visitors tonight. Just hope they're friendly. Well, I'm saying. Not fancy greeting the wrong person in an abandoned amusement park. I could list like 20 reasons why this could be bad. But let's think about the one good, okay? We're out the cold. Let's settle in for the night. Mm -hmm. I'll get a fire going. Nice. Magazine right there. Sure. Detroit Today. Uh, American Vessel Last Seen in Arctic Sea. All Android Band Tips for Music Prize. Fans Scream Traditionist Weep. Cybersecurity Expert Warns Your Android Could Be Hacked. I mean, I guess they would be paid. <laughs> hold up. Again. Someone's still here. Okay, hold up. Take? What do you mean, take? What is that? Let's go ahead and do this. Some tarp. Hey, do we want to take this? Take that down? Uh, there's a pillow too. Okay. Comfort for Alice. Fantastic. I want to see the RA9. Just before. Sorry for interrupting Luther. I mean, this is more important, you know? Really? We can't investigate this? Hold up. So, let's go ahead and make Alice's bed, but we're coming back over here right after. There you go. Just down there. Just like the first night, ha, huh, Alice? We live in those, uh, good Alice? times, I guess? Apart from Ralph. Aww. Oh no, man. Firstly, though, I want to see this. Yeah. Again. So we know someone else is here. I wonder what it'll be. Uh, hold up. It's down here. That's the same picture that Alice was looking at. Happy family. That's what this place once was all about. It's happiness. Hold up, check gun? What's this? Instead of a bag? Wait. Why do we have a gun? Unless Luther had one? Or was that bag just like laying there? You know? That was optional, so it's a good job we investigated that. Maybe we can talk to Luther about that, perhaps, at some point? Aww. I'm sorry, Alice. I really am. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Optimistic, realistic, sincere. Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. I like it. Come on. Let's get you to bed. I like it a lot. There you go. Tuck Alice in. Let's do it. How do you know? Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. We are family. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I want to hear a story too, you know? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. <laughs> I should have one for you. How about Alice in Wonderland? Is it there? Princess Unicorn Knight. Let's go, princess. I mean, that's the Alice in Wonderland? This is a story about a princess who... Oh, make it up? No. Oh. Not a story like that. Okay. Make one up for me. Oh. Okay. This is a story about a little girl. Unhappy, fear alone. <sighs> Who lived alone in a big old house. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Hmm. Where do we go with this one? She was different. Let's try this one. And that made her very sad. Then... She met a robot. <laughs> Unhappy, obedient, lost. Uh, I keep feeling like I want to press the X option, you know? I quite like that one. Who was just as lost as the little girl. It's leading to a nice story. So they decided to run away together. Uh, let's go for the top one. I'm going to change it up. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They stuck together, so they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... <laughs> Giant, a guardian, a robot. <laughs> I like the guardian, that's cool. Another robot, 
who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Oh, we're not there yet. Let's, uh, come on, come on. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. That's a nice story, I like Stories it. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. We haven't reached the end of our story yet. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. Just add just some onions to the side, guys. Just, you know, I was making uh, that's the end of another night. Girl. <laughs> yes. She's very brave. RA9 snow. Uh let's ask straight about that one first. Have you ever heard of RA9? R.A. Nine was the first of us to awaken. Huh? One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all free. You know what's all about it? Huh. R.A. Nine doubts. I guess. What if R.A. Nine never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? What about Marcus's R.A. Nine? R.A. Nine exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. It's Marcus. When the time comes. We will all see him. Kara. Have you ever noticed anything? Noticed about anything. Alice? Uh yes, no, what? Uh what? No. What you mean? What do you mean? What the ah! freak? This is literally like something kind of like Sword of the Dead? You know? Apart from this is a bit more horrific. They're all android workers. Uh-oh, that's to go get Alice, and there's a gun over there. Uh, let's go and protect Alice, of course. Luther's got the gun. Uh-oh. Okay. Question, push back, just question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were Our working name? here before the park closed. Oh man, that sucks. I didn't mean to frighten yeah. you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Oh, it's like a spark in their eyes. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good Come idea. On, Kara. I think this is a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> yeah. I think this could be good. We'll see about these androids. You know, these guys have just been pushed away for years, and they've just seen a little girl. Like, the first human they've seen in a long, long, long time. Are they gonna activate the uh, Ferris wheel or something? Be our guest. Can I this? Activate the carousel. No way. So we just simply turn it on. Still works. <laughs> this chapter's the really cool. One can climb on board. So the Palace. carousel is about yep. to begin. <laughs> Go ahead and help, Alice. I think this has been my favorite part of Detroit so far. This is awesome. Honestly, this is so cool. One thing left. Look how happy the androids are. Just to see another human happy. And you see them like jumping with joy, the androids. Just to do their job. You know? What a happy little moment. <laughs> Hello! It's the first time I've seen her smile. 
She hasn't had much to smile about lately. I am so glad that car broke down, you know? <laughs> the joy of the Antoids too, look. They're all just so happy to see someone else happy. They've not had this for a long time. You know? Good way to end such a traumatic night. Oh, that was cool. That was a really cool chapter. That was very emotional. Like, there was so much that you could get attached to, attached to with the characters. A smile on her face. Yeah. We, we absolutely destroyed that chapter. That was perfect. Let's go one more here. So this is with Hank. He's our friend. Looks like he's got to take some time out. We can get straight out of the car. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's see what uh, Frank may be so distraught about. Perhaps it'll be important to learn. No context behind how we ended up here. But I guess this is what the game wants us to find out. You don't always need to know the exact scenario that we've just been placed in. Oh, I've just noticed we're like a uh, playground area. Oh, gosh. We learned about his child, too. Oh, gosh. This would be the come down as well of the alcohol. This episode's got a lot of sad moments in, if so. Let's find out. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Personal question, stop drinking before. Before what? Hmm? You we know, said, but... I used to come here a lot before. Maybe it's worth letting Hank Before explain. what? Before... If he wants to, that is, of course. Before nothing. He doesn't want to. Maybe we should lead the question. I don't want to tell him to stop drinking. It's not our choice. You know? Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. Remember what happened with North, though? She didn't like the decision. His name was Cole. She liked it after. He had a son. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. But there is an underlying well, there must constant. Be some link. You know? Maybe where they're made or something? I don't know. RA9, yeah. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Interesting. For him to say that. What's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two were girls. In pretty good terms. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. Yeah. They can simulate human emotions. Oh, I didn't know it meant like that. But they're machines. And machines don't feel anything. I don't know. What about right. you, Connor? Yeah. Uh oh. You look human. You sound human. Mm -hmm. But what are you really? Aggressive, cold. I feel like we should be neutral. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? Is Connor deviant? You know? No. I just decided not to shoot. What do you mean decided, That's though? All. What? But are you afraid to die, Connor? Oh my god! I mean, surely... I would certainly find it regrettable to be... interrupted. He's trying before to... Before I can finish this investigation. 
What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I don't know what to say. Nothing. So, say nothing. There would be nothing. Whoa. Whoa. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. That was uh, probably the scariest chapter. That's it though. Holy crap. So we can see Connor showed fear, followed by saying there would be nothing. Okay guys, I feel like for this episode, I'm gonna leave this one here. Now I'm extremely engrossed in the story, so much so that I may do another episode tomorrow. This episode though has been my favorite because I think we're now starting to really develop this connection with the characters and learn a bit more. And I think it's what we need to know. So uh, I mean, it's only gonna get more and more interesting from here on out, you know? Hank ended up leaving us. I guess there's another option where maybe he actually shoots Connor. But I think Hank now knows that. I believe that there is maybe some kind of deviancy with Connor in terms of he's more self-aware. Because, and that's like the deep reason why he didn't shoot the androids. Because it gave us the control and, you know, like, we are able to think for ourselves. Maybe that's like the little thought process I'm getting behind there. We'll see though, guys. But for this one, that was another episode of Detroit. The game is getting intense and I hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.